It's Wednesday, August 7th. I'm Lucy Steiner. And I'm Sam Cedar. Which of these stories will you be talking about today? Kamala Harris drops, Elizabeth Warren surges, but Biden still leads in the latest Quinnipiac poll. Meanwhile, Elizabeth Warren shares more campaign donors with other presidential candidates than anyone else in the 2020 race. And lastly, Orange County, the place where Ronald Reagan said, quote, the good Republicans go to die, what is it, a sundown town? Is now a place where Democrats outnumber Republicans. That's good news. You are listening to Majority FM's AM Quickie, and these are the stories you need to know. A new poll from Quinnipiac shows Senator Elizabeth Warren enjoying a bump in the numbers following the Democratic presidential primary debates last week. But she's still trailing Joe Biden by double digits. Guys, no more Joe Biden. I don't know what's going on there, but he's not well. Warren is up six percentage points since Quinnipiac's last poll taken before last week's debate in Detroit. The other candidates remain relatively steady. However, Senator Kamala Harris's numbers dropped five percentage points. Much of Warren's bump came from Democratic voters who said they consider themselves to be, quote, very liberal. And here's some more Elizabeth Warren news. The Wall Street Journal reports that Elizabeth Warren shares more donors with other presidential candidates than anyone else in the 2020 race. More than 40 percent of Democratic donors who contributed to multiple candidates gave to her campaign. Warren and Kamala Harris share about 62,000 donors. She has about 60,000 donors in common with Bernie Sanders. And 54,000 donors have given to both Warren and Pete Buttigieg. The findings suggest that Warren's crossover appeal has been essential in helping her raise more than $25 million for the 2020 election without holding any traditional fundraisers. Hey, Majority.fm's AM Quickie is fueled by JustCoffee.coop. Just Coffee is a worker-owned coffee roaster based in Madison, Wisconsin, that has sponsored the Majority Report for nearly a decade. Check out their collection of fair trade roasts, including our own Majority Report blend. And regardless of what you order, receive 10% off of your order when you use the code MAJORITY at checkout. All shipping, of course, is free. That's coupon code MAJORITY at JustCoffee.coop. The Orange County Register reports that Orange County, a region once associated with conservative giants like John Birch, Richard Nixon, and Ronald Reagan, is about to become home to more Democrats than Republicans. County Registrar Neil Kelly reported that there are 547,458 Democrats versus 547,369 Republicans registered to vote in Orange County, making the county blue by 89 voters. Orange County was a Republican stronghold almost continuously since its inception. The change co coincides with the region becoming more racially, ethnically, and economically diverse as the Republican Party lets its racism flag fly for everyone to see. And now for what we're following today. Some quicker quickies. Quicker quickie. The AP reports that Kim Jong-un supervised a live-fire demonstration of newly developed short-range ballistic missiles intended to send a warning to the United States and South Korea over their joint military exercises. The Hill reports that the U.S. Department of Agriculture may have violated the law with its decision to relocate two offices from Washington, D.C. to the Kansas City area. Also from The Hill, New Mexico's Democratic governor is pushing back against the Environmental Protection Agency for failing to help the state fight contamination from, quote, forever chemicals spread by a military base. And from Forward.com, a letter sent by National Republican Congressional Committee Chairman Tom Emmer to party members identified three, quote, left-wing radicals that he says, quote, bought control of Congress for the Democrats. Surprise, they're all Jewish. Quicker, quickie. That's it, folks. Thanks for listening to Majority.fm's AM Quickie. Sam? Hey, thank you, Lucy. Don't forget to check out the Majority Report today at noon for our live show or later wherever your podcasts are found.